On the streets of Santiago walks a man on a mission. His quest to reignite the passion of Chileans through music. His name is Mario Rojas, and the sound is quicker. A distinct music and dance at the very heart of Chilean identity. Now beamed to the world through his satellite TV show. It's a program directed to Chileans who live outside Chile, or abroad, yes, anywhere in the world, yes. Modern Cueca revolved out of the bars and bordellos of the early 19th century. The working class in, in that moment, still are, sort of thing, would come after work and there was wine, there was food and, and, uh, and women as well. You know? And so in that popular environment is where the Cueca developed. With its distinctive 6-8 rhythm, Cueca is about seduction, passion, spontaneity. Well, they say that this is, uh, is, is, is the rooster, you know, going around the hen. Usually, that is, that is the most common metaphor, really, about the representation of Cueca. You are there because you like the music, and you like to dance. The Cueca movement flourished until the mid-20th century. As a boy, Mario Rojas quite literally sat at the feet of the great masters. My family uh, loved quick. My father was a musician, and uh, when I was a, a little kid, the most important quick uh, singers and composers were at my place at one stage. So, I don't know, it comes to my blood, I don't know. But as the old musicians faded away, so did Cueca. As a young man, Mario Rojas left Chile, chasing romance across the world to Australia. He returned home in the late 80s to a music scene dominated by rock and roll. Mario Rojas was determined to make Cueca cool again. I'm not saying that uh... I'm, I'm responsible for this, but I've been an, an important agent in creating or starting this movement and trying to create it, to give this music a type of glamour. Perhaps his greatest triumph was in overcoming Quaker's tainted past. What happened is that there was a big prejudice against Quaker among the young people 10 years ago because uh, the people associated Quaker with Pinochet mainly. In 1973, General Augusto Pinochet deposed Chile's socialist government in a bloody coup. In a bid to create national unity, Cueca was appropriated as a symbol of the state. The dancers uniformly dressed in national costume, their routine as precise as parade ground soldiers. Well, they are proper Quaker because uh, they, uh, they needed some kind of a, a, a reinforce the identity of Chile, you know, and, and, all, and they needed also to, to have some more patriotic uh, symbols, elements, you know. That, to me, 
brings back the, the, the ideals of, of Pinochet regime. The idea that you have to, because you're Chilean, you know, you have to love Quaker, like the national anthem and like the flag and all that rubbish. I mean, I really hate that. But Quaker also became a potent symbol of protest against the regime. Every week for 30 years, a group of women has gathered to dance the Quaker. But they dance alone. They're the mothers, wives, sisters and daughters of the so-called disappeared. The thousands taken away by the dictatorship and never seen again. Mi padre desaparece un día 12 de mayo de 1976. Él era un dirigente social y político. Fue detenido y desde ese momento nunca más lo volví a ver. Victoria Diaz is the group's guitarist. Her father, Victor, was a senior member of the Communist Party. Cuando bailo me recuerdo de él. Es como si yo estoy bailando con él, pero es triste también porque él no está. They defied the dictatorship, dancing in the streets, at concerts, outside government buildings. Their emotionally charged protests struck a chord across the nation. The generals didn't dare arrest them. Pinochet se adueñó, quiso adueñarse de todo, pero no pudo. La cueca no le pertenece a él. No le pertenece porque la cueca es del es una danza del es una danza que está en el alma del, del pueblo. Él no va a poder ap apropiarse de eso. Quiso hacerlo, pero no pudo. Victoria Diaz often comes here to reflect on her father. The memorial lists the thousands officially executed and the others, men, women and children, who simply disappeared, reduced to painful memories and a name etched in stone. Now, after 31 long years, Investigators have just told her what happened to her father. Lo que hicieron con él es algo terrible. Porque mi padre lo tuvieron ocho meses torturado. Y finalmente a él eh, muere, lo asesinan. His body was thrown into the sea. So you will continue to dance? Sí. Porque el problema además no termina solo con mi padre. Porque nosotros no queremos que nunca más, nunca más vuelva a repetirse lo que pasó en nuestro país. Y si a la gente, nosotros en algo hubiéramos ayudado así pequeñito a denunciar a través de, de la cueca sola lo que aquí estaba ocurriendo, y a la gente le quedó en su corazón y aquí en su mente, eso es importante. The dictatorship ended in 1990. General 
Pinochet died last December. And socialists once again govern Chile. But some traditions die hard. The army still proudly marches to an old Prussian beat. And this heritage includes the Cueca, still performed after the parade, as dictated by General Pinochet. The general also sent Cueca into the schools and community centres. So they created a whole network of Cueca dancers, uh, which is, is still until now is, is very much run by ex-soldiers uh, or ex-policemen. Uh, well, there is a whole network al along the, the country. This form of cueca is still taught in schools today. In halls across the country, children in national costume strut their stuff in a fiercely contested championship. I would describe this type of cueca very much as a kind of sport, more than a, 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 a simple dance, because when the dancers uh, move, when they dance, they have to respond to a series of uh, rules, you know. Mario Rojas says these kids are oblivious to the political origins of their contest. Ironically, this style of cueca is now hugely popular with the one million Chileans living abroad, many of whom fled the dictatorship. I'm invited to many of these contests. In fact, I was the president of the jury of the first uh, world championship which took place in Canada uh, about three years ago where the, the champions, the world champions, came from Australia. Right. They were from Canberra. <laughs> but there's nothing like the zeal of the convert. As hundreds who've rediscovered the delights of the original Cueca dance the night away. There are no urban cowboys in national costume. Here, in a shed, two hours' drive from Santiago, those with the hats are the real deal. Though some may have spent a little too much time in the saddle. Backstage, Mario Rojas is fated by the other musicians, as the man who breathed life back into Cueca. Señoras y señores, vuelvo a reiterar, es un privilegio tener aquí al señor de la canción folclórica, a Don Mario Rojas, fuerte el aplauso con él. It's been an extraordinary journey for Mario Rojas and Cueca. I suppose it, 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 it takes us back to the, the origins of Cueca, which was, a, was a, an expression of, of freedom, you know. Cueca was, uh, was a dance that uh, was born with the, with the independence of Chile. And for Chileans on a night out, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> Gracias, gracias. Gracias. Muchas gracias.